Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster campaign playing Total War Attila as the Franks, where we've got kind of a reverse barbarian invasion here, where the barbarians are coming north to attack more barbarians, because in Total War Attila there is an insane amount of anti-player bias. Now he's only at war with four different factions, which if you've played Total War Attila, that is not that big of a deal if you're playing as the Western Roman Empire. But playing as a small faction like this, having loads of armies come in, and basically, Total War Attila AI is a bitch, right? They are not interested in engaging your armies in a fair fight. They're interested in looking for your undefended settlements so they can plunder them. So we need to keep that in mind. You know, you putting an army inside of a city here to block this, they're just going to go around it. So we need to force them to engage us by letting them think that they have the advantage when they don't. So what we want to do here with this army is stand outside here and go way. into ambush stance. Right? Not necessarily to ambush them, but just to make it so they can't see where our armies are. And then we can maybe engage them on land. We don't want to take this one out at sea. So what we could do here as well is grab a new fleet here, just in case it decides to go somewhere else. We'll chase after it. And we'll only need a few ships to beat it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Need a f don't reinstate legacy, need a fleet. Okay. And we want to recruit a few... A few of these, yeah. Recruiting more ships. Yep, that should be enough. His economy is not good, and that's good. That's going to hurt his economy a fair bit. We've got some ships up this way, and he's gone with artillery ships. Um, that's fine to get artillery ships, except for these are twice the price of those other ships. And the reason why I've gone for these ones is because they have the ability, if you can see it down here, to restore their ammunition. And as long as you're using them to take out armies that are at sea, these are more than adequate. So we actually don't need this fleet here at all. I'm going to get rid of it. This is going to save a lot more money. That that fleet there is going to be a lot cheaper. Uh, he, over here on this side, uh, these are friendly, so we're not too worried about them. I went and checked in diplomacy. Um, we've got Britain coming in here. We've only got a small army. 13 men versus their 19. But then we've also got the garrison at Tilliferdum. Which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we actually outnumber them. We might be best off sallying out. That way we've got a got an opportunity to replenish. If we beat these guys here, then they'll just go and lick their wounds. Because I'll probably need to recruit with this one as well now that we've got more income. Uh, should I recruit some mercenaries? Let's see. Sometimes the mercenaries can actually be really cost effective. So Germanic pikes are good. Um, these guys here are only good for really holding the line. Actually, they're melee attacking their defense, not too bad. The uh, the Roman common Tensi spears, because this is technically a Roman faction, their, their primary goal is to just block missiles. And you've got cavalry, right? Yeah, okay, we can use the cavalry there. Okay, I, I think we've got a fair bit here to work with. Let me just grab some of these pikes, because they're cheap. And their damage dealers. All right, let's make the attack there. Bouncer power isn't in our favor, but I actually feel like I've got a tactical edge here because they don't. Ha well, they've got one unit of cav. Yeah, I think I've got a tactical edge here. Don't want to do a night attack here. We don't want to deny our reinforcements. Let's get in there and see what we can do. But yeah, the last thing we want is for the enemy AI factions to get together and fight us all all as one. We want to separate them and beat them all off one at a time. Beat them all off. Beat them up. <laughs> one at a time, maybe. Alright, so this is an interesting river crossing here. Interesting. Because they've got artillery, they can definitely take a defensive position. We should probably set up over here. Actually, I really need to just set up and just see what they do, because I, I need to bring in my troops. We'll just see. You can definitely waste the enemy artillery in Total War Artillery. They don't have much ammo. Okay, let me just see here. The enemy artillery. Can we see their range anywhere there? No, okay, just to stand back. Yeah, it's some pretty bad bounce of power. But we got reinforcements coming in. 
So let's just let's just see how things develop here. By the gods, by My reinforcements should be coming in from behind us, right? Oh, there it is. I'm so used to not seeing a map from Legendary. So this is on very hard campaign and very hard battle difficulty. Yeah, that looks... Yeah, I think the order is over. Okay. Okay. Alright. Get over... Get over here. We don't want to hold this river crossing. Don't forget where the attacker here. Alright, let's get organized a little bit. Alright, let's see. How should we organize this? We have got a lot of bloody archers here, which isn't a bad thing. Alright, so they're giving up this position over here, so we might be able to get our cavalry across. They're taking a defensive position, it seems. That's fine. That just gives us time to find weaknesses in their army. Another thing to keep in mind, like I said before, the AI is cowardly. If this army gets beaten up, it is not going to try to reinforce the other forces that are coming at us. It'll just go home. In fact, sometimes it's better to not completely wipe out your enemy because they never disband their troops. Oh, no, this us up this way. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. We've got the range advantage here. I'm going to take... These Germanic Mountain Brigands. And let's see if we can waste the ammunition on that artillery. Because it doesn't take long. Because they've only got 10 shots. Arms, and it's really easy to do it. Too bad we don't have single entity car friends or something. <laughs> Ah, here we go, cheesing again. What you want to do is try to change direction the moment they launch their shot. Because it takes a long time for the rock to actually come over here, and you can see we're just dodging them quite easily. You don't really want to be doing this on two times speed, but I'm gonna. As long as I can see those projectile trails, then I can dodge this easily enough. I think we can go... Oh, crap. I think I can go a bit quicker. Oh, okay, maybe, 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 maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not a good time to get too cocky. So what we're doing here, taking out two of their units almost for free, very cheaply. And this also allows us to bring our troops up to hold the river crossing. Because we've got range superiority, we can get into a skirmish. Because don't forget, we got more armies to deal with than this. We cannot just win this battle and lose 90% of our army. That was That's a defeat. We have to win this battle and have our army intact. Okay, let's move up. Now, they've still got missile units. So what we want to do, keep our guys over here. You can see there's a missile unit over this way. Sagittario. Okay, the range on these guys. These are these are terrible um, archers, but it can definitely work for us here. We'll have the same range. Wait, the Germanic hurlers. Do you guys have a formation you could use? Spear wall. It, from my experience in this game, hurlers are way more dangerous than archers against infantry. Okay, they're moving all their force up this way. I could probably get my cavalry across now if I want. But they've got two units of cavs, so I'd just be trading off, which isn't good. Alright, let's bring our archers up. Because, yeah, we've just got archer superiority. I don't really like the, having to shoot at some um, hurlers. But I, th I think we outranged them. I'm just not 100% sure. It's been such a long time since I really got into Total War Attila. Not that I was ever really that into it. Uh, okay, there's their range right there. Move these guys up a bit. 
Okay, they're coming into range. Okay, that, that works for us. Let's have a skirmish. And let's use heavy shot because it's got bonus versus infantry. And yes, use precision shot as well. I'm going to stand over here. Oh, I'm on slow mo. See, I'm used to that button actually being greyed out. Why, why do I don't have that there? <laughs> God, he's so bad at not playing legendary. Give me a break, I don't know this mode. Got all these mechanics I never get to use. Alright, let's get these guys over here, because I'm going to have to fall back there, crossing the river. Let's pull back. You guys go up. You guys cross over. Okay, need these guys to put down. Yeah, they've already done it. Good, their cavalry has engaged with us. Okay, stand back. A little bit of damage, but that's okay. They've basically just sacrificed their cavalry there. And we're going to cross over this side, and we're going to cut them off. I don't really think we need that formation. Okay, we want to be shooting over here. Oh yeah. Could use some whistle shot. Just have just have one of our guys use whistle shot. It'll reduce their just our melee attack as well. That's okay. And they've only left missile units over the side here, so we can take them out, so no one's going to fire back at us. Uh, where's our generals? Have we got any abilities here that we can use? Second wind. Yeah, that might be good. And what do you got? Yep, pop it down. Good. Minimal damage happening to us at the moment. Got to be careful here, because you can get a lot of friendly fire in a tiller if you're not careful. Let's leave those whistle shots going, that's fine. Okay, I feel like this guy here is suffering a lot. Let's get him back. You get in there. Try to keep our damage evenly spread out. Could I get some of you guys up here to maybe shoot at those Kev? Uh, actually, don't worry about it. Just keep focus firing in there. Our guys are holding reasonably well. I'm going to have to just charge in here. Everyone, some of these are obstructed. All right, let's move them around this flank over this way. If we can manage to kill the enemy general, the rest of this will just be a really quick route. but at least we'll stop them from shooting at us. Get back. This one here got shot up a fair bit. Just, that one's a quicker unit. Yeah, could you shoot back at that one? We haven't killed the enemy general yet. Don't want to lose my cavalry now before we actually run them down. Because we've definitely won this fight. Alright, let's give you a frenzy. Good, enemy general's dead. We've got the whistle shot going. You need to move back. Bounce, bounce, looking good. Okay, army losses shouldn't be any moment now, I think. You guys don't cross. Don't cross, just stay back. It's all good. We've won. Alright, the damage isn't too bad there. And I reckon these guys are just gonna run home with their tails between their legs. So that's one enemy taken out. And like I said, the damage isn't too bad. We can recover this pretty quick. Alright. I'll just pause the recording while I run these guys down. 
Okay, there we go. So, not particularly difficult battle. It was made particularly easy by eliminating the artillery basically for free. Wasn't perfectly executed. I wasn't really expecting them to cross over the, the river, so I wasn't quite ready for them. We definitely could have taken less casualties if we had been in formation. But overall, the number of casualties here, way better than what Auto Resolve was going to yield, because Auto Resolve was going to yield a defeat. We could go with a little bit of money, but that amount of cash will get us, what, two units? And that'll replace... Let's go with this. Let's go with that. Alright, we could come over here and finish him off. But then we're going to be stuck out in the open here and we've still got a small army. So, this army here could come up this way. That could happen. I think you should stay at Tilly for this turn. Yeah. And what we'll do is merge these. And just replace them with... With two of them. Or should I get some more cavalry? I didn't, wasn't really making good use of them in that battle. That's because I didn't really need to. That one is probably just going to run away now. Or it might come over here and raid. Whatever, just got to deal with that. This is the next next threat I got to worry about. So, how are we going to manage this one? With this much of a stack. Okay, yeah, I'm going to get two of them. And also get Germanic Mounted Warband. That's going to use up all of our our treasury, but at least we'll have money for next turn. Thanks to disbanding that other fleet. Okay, well, we don't have any money for construction. We've just got to get through these battles here. In fact, we might be able to get out of this war entirely now. Let me just have a look. Do not waste no. time on... No, <laughs> Total Attila does not accept peace treaties. The AI... Anyway, let's move on. Let's, let's see what happens here. So, very curious to see what happens with them. Yeah, bitch. Same faction, that one. Okay, the ambush failed. But, this is what I was talking about. We've, we've drawn them in. Now, that, that bounce power is not amazing. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. And what are we dealing with here? There's some war dogs. The bounce power is definitely in our favor. We've got more units than they do. We could win this in order resolve for sure. But fighting it manually would ensure a better victory. Especially considering you've actually got a good army here. All right, let's do that. And that was the whole point of ambushing. Even though the ambush failed, they didn't see our army. So they just walked straight into it. Because it was only 30% chance of the ambush succeeding. It would have been better if it did succeed, but whatever, that's okay. The main point here is to force a decisive engagement. You know, your army's fresh, their army's fresh, but they're, they're just looking for easy targets. Now, if we had just left our army here... What would have happened is that they would have just run right past and gone to one of your undefended settlements. Because their, their AI, they understand that the player does not have unlimited money cheats. So what they do is they go and plunder your undefended settlements to de deplete your income so that you can't afford the armies. Because they know that th you'll beat them on the battlefield. The AI in Total War Attila isn't good on the battle map. It's not terrible. It's not, not good on the battle map. But it understands its weaknesses to some extent, which makes it incredibly cowardly. It refuses to engage. Okay. Rally. Okay, let's go keep them in line. Uh, this is a terrible formation, but we're just standing close to our reinforcements over here. Freeman! Freeman. Ah, oh, these are trash. They will bleed for oh, us. God. Why, why do we have these? <laughs> uh, well... No, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Okay, so... Germanic Spearmen, they're the easiest to replace. We're going to put them up front. Put them into Spear Wall. Have these guys be behind them. You stay behind them. And you stay behind them. As for the horsemen, I'm going to hide them over here.
Because yeah, the AI is not too bad at, at deploying anti-cavalry tactics. So what we want to do is hide our cavalry until the point where they can't actually deploy any anti-cavalry tactics. Also, another thing, it'd be best if the garrison takes the damage as opposed to the army, because obviously the army is going to be needed to mop these guys up afterwards. Usually go with heavy shot to begin with. They are just standing still. That's fine. That is totally fine by me. Right, let's get organized. Or reorganized. Alright, alright, alright. So, as far as I'm concerned, the biggest threat in this army is actually the, the Celtic Cavalry Raiders. They're going to be annoying to deal with. They've got short-range missiles. Okay, bounce battle is in our favor. But again, got to keep in mind, there's going to be more fighting. So we have to do a good job of it. We can't let our army take 90% casualties. That's not a win. Not a win at all. Okay, let's bring them up. All right, since the AI is deciding not to attack us, hiding these forces here isn't going to do anything. I don't think it's a good idea to just rush in there with our cavalry just yet, but let's just close in. We'll get them to charge at us by shooting at them with our archers. As soon as we get into range, they'll probably charge. So the the dogs are apparently good against cavalry, apparently. I think it's the troops themselves that are good against cavalry, because they've got spears. But the dogs, again, I, I don't know. Okay, just keep moving up. Okay, keep moving. Yeah, because all they've got is javelins, which are dangerous for sure. But if we've got our guys up here in spear wall, this will provide them with 25% uh, extra missile block chance on top of their shields, that is. It's not going to prevent them from taking damage, but it will seriously reduce it. Oh, they do have a... Oops, hang on. They've got an archer. Stand back, stand back. No, not you. So, yeah. These guys are not as good at blocking missiles as, you know, the Roman legions. It's not fantastic. Okay, let's move our archers up. And yeah, like I thought, they're now they're advancing. We're being ambushed. And the flank there. Come around the flank here. I'll put you guys in a locked control group and get ready to charge in. Not yet though. Use flame shot, get rid of that cavalry unit. Okay, charge in now. You guys, come around the flank. Start harassing their missile units so they stop shooting at us. Yeah, our guys are holding the line okay. Fire shots better against cavalry, which is why we used it. Watch out for the dogs. You don't really want to be shooting at the guys over here, shoot over their heads. We're a little bit weak on this flank here. Not ideal. Okay, move these guys back. We need to readjust. We just don't think we got this, but we've won on this flank. But yeah, they wrapped around us over here. We need to move.
Good, but we're getting all their missile units, that's great. He's fine. Move these guys back. Bit of a mess there. Good thing that one there is garrison. Okay, resume using whistle, not whistle shot, heavy shot. I don't want to get friendly fire on him, but I also don't want to get shot by the javelins. Bit of a blob over here. Yep, pull that one back, that's fine. Them back. Disorganized there. Like I said, not too worried about garrison units getting wrecked. Okay, let's pull this one out. Too much damage. Pull that one out. Too much damage. These guys here, move him over this way. It's alright. These guys back. These two here. Maybe sort out those guys. Just move all of these guys back a little bit. Everything here is fine. I think this is way better than what order resolve would have yielded. This definitely wasn't a perfect fight. By any means. But this army here is not going to threaten us anymore. Get out of there. Alright, stop these guys here from shooting. And we'll run down the last of them. Oh, the enemy general's still here. Still in the fight. Well, let's bring our archers up and shoot him. So, very lopsided damage, which isn't ideal. It makes replenishment a little bit difficult. But all of these units are able to be re-recruited pretty much instantly, so that's fine. Sorry about that right now, we'll just get the archers to get that. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird wraparound that they did there. Yeah, these guys here, they can do a lot of damage. This one he got 217 kills, but they're also kind of glass cannons. Get a little bit closer so that if he runs away, I should say when he runs away, we're still in range to shoot him. But yeah, ideally what you want is for all of them to take even damage, but that's just... That's very difficult to do, except with auto resolve. Good if he dies. Actually, it doesn't really matter if he dies, because then I'll just replace him with someone else. This way they're not going to replace him, and he'll have fewer men that we have to kill next time. Yeah, that one, yeah, okay, it's fine. T uh, roughly a 2 to 1 kill ratio. Didn't go perfectly, but better than auto resolve, and that's really all we're looking for here. Oh, that unit got one out. Well, that's easy to replace, no big deal. Alright, so we can get 658 or 12% replenishment. I think for this army here, because it's most likely going to get the other armies come this way. I think we'll go with replenishment because I think we'll have a bit of money to work with next turn anyway. Get moving.
Shall we hack at each okay, other? well that's Until our good. Can gorge themselves on that's good. Flesh, or will it be peace? You don't really want to be fighting a horde right now. And they're at war with the Western Roman Empire, so they'll go somewhere else. Yeah, let's accept that for you. That way, only three Excellent. enemies to deal with now. So we fought two of them over the internet. That means there's one remaining. Although there's also another army still remaining. Well, it depends. Well, let's just have a look at the situation. Yeah, like I said, they just they love going into raid stance. It would have been great to wipe them out, but that amount of damage to our... It's actually... Let's expect a bit more. Oh, that's right, because I recruited more units. Yeah, okay. I don't think the raiding's hurting us that much. Okay, now, with these units here, we can see these ones, they want to land here. They want to go for Ang Angulus. No. No, 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 no. But, Legend, you've only got six units. You can't possibly win. No! <laughs> God's curse ya! Want to bet? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, whatever. Um, we have to just fight it manually, that's all. Because here's the thing, like, they don't actually have artillery on these ships. They do, the archers are the best ones on the transports, those ones there. Um, they should have the same range as our bowmen marauders, but there's only two of those units compared to five of ours here. Anyway, let's jump in and see what we can do here. Yeah, just having a small fleet like this can be really useful for uh, deterring naval invasions. Sometimes the AI will recruit fleets, and that will be more difficult to deal with. But oftentimes they just send an army. Okay, so this one here is not what we want to use. Keep it back. Our, our uh, ship should be way faster than theirs. And we want to be using flame shot, and we can restore ammunition. Oh, wow, jeez. Right, so we can see here the artillery. They haven't actually been assembled, so they're not actually artillery. Good, they've kept their archers at the back. Good, good, good. So they don't have much ammunition. You have to constantly replenish their ammo. God damn, the naval battles in Attila. Look how these maps are so fucking small. It's because they don't want you to cheese it. <laughs> they just want you to throw your forces in at the enemy and just YOLO, which... Makes them very unsatisfying. So these guys have very poor fire resistance, and we've got very good fire resistance. So even if those archers over here do use fire arrows on us, we should be fine. We are outnumbered. Oh, advisor, go away. Actually, no, I really like that voice actor. <laughs> okay, they're firing at us with the javelin. Okay, try to stay out of its range, because we lost a few men there. But you can see here, we are way faster than them. But because they've got so many ships, what they can do is just go wide and basically brick wall us, just steamroll us. We don't want that, because we need some time. This takes 30 seconds to apply. They're actually shooting way out of range there as well. Stop. Okay, let's replenish ammo there. Yeah, sometimes the range in Total War Chiller Naval Battles is just absolute bullshit. Oh, they're closing in on us. Should be fine. What are some other concerns? Those ones there will have javelins. Anything that's got any kind of missiles is a little bit of a concern. You, um, just, um... Crap, this bloody map is fucking tiny. Come around this way. It may be better if I just withdraw this guy from the battlefield. Because I only need these ones. Yeah. But if, hang on, if they're chasing after him... Yeah, yeah, okay. 
lure some of them over here when they get into range. I'll just withdraw them from the battlefield. We don't we don't actually need them on the battlefield. Okay, good. The javelin ship is gone. Good, good, good. Alright, let's get around them here. Let can speed that up. Try to get around them. Use as much of this tiny fucking stupid map as we possibly can. Just about spent. Let's get some serious distance from them and then restore ammo and you may leave. Our general is being attacked! Keep him alive! Oh my god. It's so small. The ship has replenished its ammunition. Cool. But we can still manage it. It's just it's just a pain, that's all. Yeah, they clearly didn't want you to do this kind of thing, which is why it's important to do it. <laughs> Fuck their game design. The Total Rotilla game design is basically fuck you player. So you just gotta say fuck you straight back. That's why I got a hate-hate relationship with Total Rotilla. Battles are good, but some of the design options, uh, decisions are absolutely baffling. That's it. I'm not too concerned about being efficient with my ammo. Okay, some more distance and restore ammo. Good, yeah, they're being stupid. Keep firing. Ammunition and with every ship that we burn down, it gets easier to navigate around them. They're having less and less area that they're um, affecting. Makes it easier to get around them. One thing I will give the um, the, the naval battles in Total War Attila is that you can actually sail backwards. It's a little bit finicky though. Let's keep distance, get around it. It would be good if we don't have to deal with the enemy archers at all. If we could just army lost them, that would be great. But if we have to, we need to make sure we focus fire on them quickly and take them out. Alright, don't restore ammo right now. Not yet. Gotta get some distance first. One of our ships can no longer fire! I'm fine. That's it. And let's get some more ammo now. Cool. So yeah, that's why I prefer these ships instead of the artillery ships, because the artillery ships, you can't restore their ammo. It, it's cool to use them, but also these are half the upkeep cost. And in the early stages of the campaign, going, Ooh, look, good unit! That can really be kind of a trap, because there is some vast differences in upkeep in Total War Tiller. And sometimes going for, Ooh, look, cheap, is actually better. Because you can sometimes get two or three shit units, at the cost of uh, one expensive unit. And sometimes two shit units is actually better. Sometimes, not always. Okay, don't want to be getting shot by that archer ship. We only got a few kills on us, and it used up a fair bit of its ammo, so I guess it's not too bad. If we have to take it out, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, it's just up front. Let's focus fire on it as quickly as possible. Just get rid of it. Quick, 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 quick. Hang on, we don't want to deal with the other ones. Good, it's on fire. Get out of its range. Good, one archer down. Bounce power massively improving. Thing is as well, when you tell tell them to stop firing at will, they oftentimes delay that order by a fair bit. <laughs> so it feels a bit pointless even doing it. Especially when you've actually got unlimited ammo. It's like you tell them, hey, stop shooting, they're like, okay, after the next three volleys. Like that's half your ammo, dude. The men have received more ammo. 
good. Bounce powers even now. Poor Archer. Doesn't really matter if the, any of these ships sink, because we just board them and we can easily get them back. Like I said, the Archers were going to be the biggest concern, and they're proving that right there. Oh, still got four ships. Look at this fucking Archer ship right here. The men are losing hope. The unit is running from the enemy. Good. Okay, it's on fire. And let's restore ammo. Couple more ships to go. I'm surprised the army lost haven't kicked in. But we got this. The men are running. Stand and fight, damn you! And there's the army losses. But let's make sure not a single one of them escapes. Broken beneath the waves. And there we go. Oh, hang on. That might get away. No, it didn't. Good stuff. So, yeah, we didn't want to send our army out onto the water using the... Just a small fleet can manage it. But, yeah. If you're going to send an army out at sea, make them full of archers. Because they actually fight just fine. The sea sickness doesn't really affect them. We'll take the money. Ready for orders. All right. So that was the picked faction, and we can see here. I don't think these guys moved over the intern, the Caledonians. Just got that one army left to deal with. Interesting. This one here, it may run away because their general died. Hang on, let me just check here. Speak quickly and well. Okay, let's we'll see if we can get out of these wars. Some of them, Welcome, at least. No. Do not attempt to sweeten. Okay, none of them want peace yet. Yeah? All right, so, 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 how should we go about this? If we just send both of our armies to go charging after this guy, what's going to happen is he's going to run away. Ready for battle. Yeah. Ready for battle. Now this army here is obviously not in as good shape as it was previously. And this is at full strength. I imagine this army is just going to run away. And then there's still this other one over here, the Caledonians. Right, so they were sending two armies at us. And there might may, maybe another Britain army coming up this way. This is basically what you gotta do with Total War Chiller. Just play, play whack a mole for ages. It's super annoying. Yes. But what else can you do? Got a little bit of money, so you can use that to invest into some of this ruin here. That'll make you a little bit of extra cash. It's better than nothing, since I don't desperately need to recruit this turn. This one here. All right, since they've only got one army each, they're not rolling in here with two stacks anymore. What we could do is do a bit of a switcheroo. Since this army here is now in better shape than this one, I could send these guys over to here and these ones over to, to Flivum. Send these guys back here. Ready for orders. I reckon this will just push them out of the way. Yeah. Definitely not worth going after them. Okay, I got another idea. Got another idea. Ready for orders. For the tribe. How much movement do we need to go into ambush dance? I think it's 50%. Mm. Okay. If I stand here, 60% chance of ambushing. Sixty percent. If I go back to here, let me just see. Sixty percent from there, but I'll use up too much movement because I want to set up a trap for these guys here. Not at all worried about them anymore. Ready for orders. Just thinking how I can go about this. Also got some leveling up here for this one. Just what's this? Yeah, just go with this stuff here. It's fine. Um. Because popping this guy inside the settlement 
this one will just run straight to Angulus. Okay, well, if we're going to predict that he's going to do that, let's get a single general here. Uh, yep, we'll reinstate that legacy. Yep, this one here. Chuck it in. Okay, the reason for this is so that if this one does run up through here, out of range of these guys, trying to attack Anglers, we can have this guy launch the attack and these ones reinforce. Alright, I will do a switcheroo. You come over here, and you come over here. Because this guy here is in better shape. So we're not hiding this turn. We want them to come in. We want them to go in through this way here. Money's not ideal. I could disband the fleet. It was relatively cheap to get. And there's, there's probably no more fleets coming around this way. You never know. This one might swing around that way. Yeah, I'll leave that there. You just never know. But yeah, money is absolutely garbage. At least we spent a little bit on, on some construction. That's good. But yeah, we just got to lure these guys in and then cut down on some of the on some of the the wasted expenditure. All right, let's move on to the next turn. Okay, and let's move on. Now let's see what these guys get up to. Okay, that's fine. That's not what I predicted, but it's actually totally fine. Because they're not going after our undefended settlements. This is no longer a disaster campaign. This is a typical Total War Tiller now. Because what you can do is put that army in ambush stance. Let that one come in closer. Or it might be within range of um, the Tilly Ferdinand garrison. They might be trying to goad us to come out and attack. In which case, we just do the same battle that we had against the Britons. May want to backstab these guys here, just to wipe them out. It causes you some reliability, but these guys here look like they're planning another attack. But let's have a look, look here. So those Caledonians, they're not looking too keen on coming up this way. They're being, you know, they're being cautious. Ready for orders. If we have a look here, we can see that... Warriors all. Yeah, they're not in a position to make any sort of serious attack there. They're going to take virtually no attrition. We can see here that they are not threatening Angulus. So... The situation is... This is just a typical freaking Total War Attila, right? Because it's, it's a tough campaign. You're just going to have to make some tough calls at some point to reduce your expenses, to continue to invest in your provinces, and just play whack-a-mole with these guys here, because they're never going to be brave against you. They want you to come out of the city here and attack them and take attrition. But you don't want to do that at all. Just basically wait out the winter. The Maybe we should just get through one more turn and see what happens with them. Can I, Ready with this army battle. here, stand somewhere where we don't take attrition? Nah, every single spot will take us attrition. Because I want to hide. But unfortunately, winter gives the AI a massive advantage in this situation. Probably the same thing here. Yeah, there's nowhere I can stand where I wouldn't take attrition. We definitely don't want to do a switcheroo this turn. And we don't need this guy here this turn either. So you can be disbanded. They'll save you a tiny little bit of cash. And this over here, that's still being built. That'll give us a little bit of extra income. Um, since the Caledonians are... Hmm. I'm just wondering if maybe this should be disbanded. It's not really costing that much money in the grand scheme of things. For the tribe. But yeah, the biggest problem here is just finances the maybe these Sally and Frankish Lancers that I recruited causing some economy problems but they're really good so if we could just get in a, a decisive engagement you can always just ban them and re-recruit them again later in an emergency so again winter most of the time you just gotta just hit the end turn there's just not much we can do about it Looks like they want to attack up this way. All right, we should be able to launch the attack on this one now, no problem, because it'll be spring. They'll take a tiny little bit of attrition. It's actually kind of ridiculous how little they take. 
a purely anti-player um, mechanic. Although our army here is actually big enough that these guys might not stand and fight. I didn't do any of the politics stuff because I honestly find the politics in Total War Chiller to be trivial and boring and we're only playing a couple of turns. You can fix up whatever issues arise pretty quickly. Alright, so we can see here he's within range and the amount of attrition he took was absolutely pitiful. Alright, if we launch the attack there, I'm not sure if our garrison actually comes in. Check. It doesn't. Okay, well, we're actually short by one unit. But should I fight this battle? Let's see. Yes, we've got cavalry superiority. Yeah, this, this should be fine. Might take a bit of damage in this battle. But this will decisively beat the... Hopefully. Decisively beat these guys. So that they... Might want peace, but at the very least, not going to seriously threaten any of your settlements, so that you can descale your military a little bit without without worrying too much about your settlements. Because you really you need some money to be injected into those buildings. All right, now, yeah, bounce powers even should be fine. We got to keep in mind a very hard battle difficulty, which this is on. They cheat so much. It's actually ridiculous. It's not a fair fight. So we've got to be aware of that. Okay, so... These cavalry here, the Celtic Cavalry Raiders, are actually pretty good at dealing with our Frankish Lancers. Because they're quick. And these guys here... Oh, they're good cavalry, but they're... They're not as quick as them, and they're, they're javelin cav. Alright, so, ready. just kind of do what I did last time. Put these guys into... Ready for battle. Into a spear wall when we get in close. Alright. Now, I usually put all my cavalry on one flank or another, not on both flanks. is because I'd much rather hit them hard in one flank than soft on both flanks. Oh, look at that, they're corner camping. Actually, I should be on the other the side enemy there. Has been spotted. So let's move in. They've got some longer range units in there that'll equal our archers. Should be fine. But yeah, part of the problem with the Total War Chill is that you can fight all these battles and just feels like, well, I don't know if it's really still not a disaster campaign. It's basically always a disaster campaign in Total Rotilla. You're always going to be on edge. You're just never in a position until, like, oh, the end of the campaign. Yeah, I kind of need you to come up with this. Where you can go, oh, cool, I'm not under any serious threat right now. Because the AI is... They just zerg towards you. They hate you in this. They refuse peace even when you bloody smash them. They declare war on you the moment you have an undefended settlement. Super annoying AI. Hang on, getting too close there. Alright, they have got two long range archers. Or two archers, I guess. How should we go about this? Alright, first thing, put these guys into this spear wall. I'm going to bring them around this side and try to shoot at the cavalry. Yeah. Come over here. Want these guys in flame shot. Shoot this. Okay, now they're advancing us. If we can get rid of their cavalry with our archers, or at least get rid of their ammo. In the back. Don't shoot my lances. That's just going to give us a lot more. Mobility with our cavalry, because like I said, these are the biggest concern for us.
And they refuse to jump into melee, even though that's what they should have done. Keep moving back there. Let's get around here. Move back. No, not you, not you, not you, not you. You stay there. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, you guys switch to that shot there. Shoot at these, kill the Gax Band. Don't want to engage just yet. Let's have these guys here keep tanking that. These ones here, keep standing back. Because yeah, what we're having here is a bit of a skirmish. They're shooting at a bad target, and we're shooting at a good target. So this skirmish here is favorable for us, so it's not worth going into an engagement just yet. Like, they're getting some kills, but I think we're doing better. Don't worry about getting rid of their brigands here, because they're running low on ammo. These guys here, when they start to advance, we'll just pull these ones back. Honestly, that kind of loose formation, what they're doing there, is not very helpful because if they put two units on top of each other and just go into loose formation, well then, they really haven't gone into loose formation. Alright, as soon as this guy here has run out of ammo, they're going to charge at us, so you need to move back. And let's now refuse engagement for them, see how they like it. Because we've got mobility here, let's use it. And they can't shoot us anymore. Alright, let's use this. I was a little bit reluctant to do it at first because of our... Um... Oh, they've still got some ammo left. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I was reluctant to do it because I didn't want them to be tired. But I also need them to do more damage. Falling back there. How about you go into loose formation so this. Hang up, stop shooting up. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have used that. It's made them really tired. But it's okay, it's just one unit of Kiltic Band. We can smash that really easily. That was still not a favorable charge for them. Because don't forget, these units here, dirt cheap. They're not going to be heavily weighted in bounce power. Bounce power is better than it was at the start of the battle. Like I said, just refuse engagement here. This one here is pretty quick. It doesn't have that much ammo, just refuse engagement for now. Giving us time to cause serious damage to their army. I see that general there. Looking real stupid. Yeah, I really should not have used that, making them tired like that. Careful about this one here. But doing some cycle charging into their general seems like a good idea. Our archers can't keep up with them now. Yeah, these are uh, Celtic warlords. They don't have much melee attack, so we can totally just stay there and keep fighting them. Yeah, see, they, they can't even get a single kill in. They're entirely a defensive unit. Okay, back with it. Need you over here to deal with this before it bloody hurts. Ah, oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, maybe not. Good, 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 good. Good. That one only managed to get a couple of kills on us, and our archer should make short work of it now. Since 
since some of our units lag behind, I might as well go into melee with it, stop it from shooting. And now that we have killed the enemy general, we can use whistle shot. Hang on, watch out, we don't want to shoot our own troops. Myself. Hang on, what should we do as well? Have um, just one of them on whistle shot, the other one on flame shot, that way we double up on morale penalties. These ones here don't engage. We could probably beat all of these guys here with our archers if they would just engage with us. Alright, I'm gonna get the cavalry to go over here and harass this archer unit. Now that they don't have any cavalry, we should have this quite easily. Is that going to be enough to break them? Not sure. It's enough to get them wavering. Yep. Okay, there's one of our guys here. guys here moving. Oh, they've used up all their ammo now. Okay, cool. Man, you should fight them fairly. Our troops are being ambushed. more on that one's gone. Got the quicker unit first. Good, that one's gone. Yeah, right now, not reg regretting the purchase of these cavalry. They are really doing a good job for us. They've recovered all their fatigue now. Awesome. Well, how are we going over here? Yep. Well, oh, took another unit. Keep these guys running. Don't want to engage. Just don't want to take any more casualties. Keep our armies as strong as possible. We want a nice clean victory here, if we can. Alright, getting our archers over there. We're most likely to intercept them over this way. Should be getting fairly close to the army losses. If we absolutely need to, we can totally turn around and fight them. But, you know, that just means extra casualties. Much better to just break them and run them down. In fact, would it be better if we just told some of these units to just withdraw from the battlefield right now? Dead unit. Good, get over here. Really good kills on these cavalry. I think this has been a very good purchase. Yeah, using using uh, missile units and cavalry together like this can be really effective against entirely infantry armies like this. I mean, it's, it's only entirely infantry now because we took out their um, cavalry, but use the archers to take out the cavalry. Flame shot, very effective against them. 
Right, you are going to need to withdraw because I just don't think I can get you out of there. You're too tired. Yep, dead unit. Okay, get these guys out of there. What's this? Orders. There was a stragglers, that's all. Alright, speed that up a little bit. Alright, they are really starting to catch up to us here because... Okay, we're going to have to turn around. I think our guys are just a bit too tired. I did want to just whistle shot them to death, but doesn't seem like that's the way they want to play this. Need to hit them in the rear. Good. Over here. Get around that. Bring them in over here. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Make sure they also don't get away. Losses should be any moment now. Relatively clean victory, I think. The tide of battle turns in our favor. Still no army losses. There we go. Wait, is it? Yeah, there we go. Army losses. Cool. You guys stop shooting. We don't get any infinity fire now. And we just run them down, which won't take long because they're all close by. Good. Their army should be utterly obliterated. They, they may have had a couple of units escape, just a little bit, like some of the cavalry units, but, but they're going to have to either go get a whole bunch of mercenaries to threaten us again, or bring a whole other army in. Yeah, only a couple of units got away. Looks like it's just this one, actually. Since we didn't use up that much movement, we might be able to pursue them and finish them off. Only 100 symmetry rank. Way better than what Order... Order Resolve might have yielded us a defeat. That was evenly matched in order. So, considering we didn't take too much damage, it might be best to ransom and release captives. Gotta make some money. Okay, they ran away a pretty long time. You can still go after them, but I, I wouldn't. Because you still got the Caledonians over here, but it's only one army remaining. And you can see the finances are a bit better now. So that's that's good. Alright, I'm confident that I can hand this back to him. And at least he's got a few more turns of relative calm before the next bullshit thing happens. So that's up to him to be prepared for that. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you learned something from it. Hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.